but when trying to downplay your success doesn't work, then they start spreading lies and hate and envy. And when they know they can't control you, they start to try to control how others view you. I've been driving this train years in this lane this Gentlemen, greetings and welcome back to another episode. Now today, I'm going to talk to you about why you should never let anyone downplay your success. Now fellas, if you're a man who is constantly on your grind and you're leveling up in your career, you've started that side business, you've been consistently hitting the gym, and you've been posting your progress on your stories, what you're gonna to come to realize and what you're gonna find out is that the people around you are gonna to try to downplay your achievements and downplay your success. These are individuals who would like to see you stay average and not change and not be on your come up. And actually it's quite disheartening if you find yourself in this position and it kind of shocks you and it takes you by surprise when you see how these individuals act towards you and treat you when it comes to your goals and the things that you're working on and going after in life. They'll say things like, oh, how's that little business? That little business that you're working on. Why are they calling your business little? Little slide remarks and comments like that. It's obvious where they stand and they say it and you can tell in their face that they're looking at you as a non-believer. You see, because they can't see the things that you see, they don't have your vision. They don't have your purpose. And they're content being an average individual for the rest of their life. And this is hard for them to accept because deep down they know that they have no real purpose. And this lack of purpose Really, it eats at them on the inside. And how does that show up? It shows up in the way they project, in the way they talk and they act and they treat you, the individual who is going after something. And this is what you have to keep in mind, fellas. These people are secretly hoping that you fail. And these are the same individuals who are supposed to be your biggest supporters but instead they'll make you feel awkward in their presence. You can just feel their energy. There's no support behind their words. They may ask you a question like, oh, how's your little business doing? But they don't really wanna hear all the positives. They don't really wanna hear how you're succeeding, how you're taking off, how things are growing. And you know what's interesting, fellas? These people will never say, hey bro, you know, you're doing a great job. I'm proud of you. I see you winning. I see that you set your mind to something and you decided you were gonna work hard for it and go after it. And you know what, bro? You're an inspiration. You've inspired me to go after something myself. You're winning and I'm truly happy to see you doing well and I'm happy to see you happy. Isn't it ironic that these people will never say things like that? Even though these individuals, more than likely, they're watching all of your moves. They're seeing everything you're doing. But they don't want to give you any props or any credit. And they don't want to tell you that they're proud of you. Why is it that strangers will support you more than your people will? Why is that? Just ask yourself that question. Ask yourself if the people closest to you are truly supporters of yours, or are they not? And if they are supporters, they certainly don't show you. What you're gonna come to find out is that, generally speaking, most people, they don't wanna see you pass them up. They wanna see you stay the same. They wanna see you in that safe little bubble they've always known you to be in. And if you start to change and you start to wanna do different things, they're gonna look at you funny 
and you know that these individuals are mad and they're angry when they try to downplay your success in front of others in a group setting someone may bring up that thing that you're doing that new raise that you just got that new career field that you just started or that business of yours that's starting to take off well they're gonna they're gonna downplay it in front of the crowd and a lot of the times they don't even do this on purpose they do this subconsciously because they can't help but to hate because it's ingrained so deep in their subconscious instead of building you up and saying positive things about what you're doing in front of the crowd or well, they're gonna take little shots at the things that you got going on but when trying to downplay your success doesn't work then they start spreading lies and hate and envy and when they know they can't control you they start to try to control how others view you and how others react and respond towards you and they try to get into the minds of others but don't let that get you off track because this is their piss poor mentality and do you think there'll ever be a winner trying to bring others down constantly focused on what the next person is doing these are the same individuals walking around watching keeping up with the Kardashians all day constantly focused on other people's lives instead of building their own but here's the thing to remember fellas when they start to hate oh you know you're doing something right average people who aren't doing anything they don't get hated on they don't get criticism from anyone they're too scared to make any big moves they're too they're too nervous to think big they just want to be safe and secure and again there's nothing wrong with living that type of life but for those of us who are thinking big and going after something and striving for greatness you have to understand that the hate and the criticism that's all part of the game and you can't let it knock you off your square I know it's difficult especially if you're new to the game it's difficult to take that hate from others but you gotta let it roll right off fellas you cannot let it stop you from what your goals are let's look at athletes for example let's take a look at Kevin Durant now Kevin Durant is one of the best basketball players on the planet and he's probably a, a top 10 15 player of all time depending on who's making the list now Kevin Durant he takes a lot of hate on the internet on social media as all professional athletes do but again if you're gonna be great it comes with the territory fellas somebody's always gonna have something to say about you you could be the best basketball player in the world you could go out there every night and make 20 out of 20 shots your team wins hundred percent of your games and they're still gonna be a motherfucker with something negative to say about your game and so what are you gonna do go back and forth with these clowns all day and again sometimes somebody says something that's gonna get you triggered but you have to understand this is their job a trolls job is to troll and you know that it's some probably fat lazy ugly fuck in their mom's basement binge eating Oreos and ice cream with nothing going on in their life with no profile pic hiding behind some bullshit avatar because they don't want to put their their name and face on anything they just want to sit behind the keyboard and I'm gonna get this motherfucker today I'm gonna get him oh he's talking all that shit I'm gonna let this motherfucker have it who does he think he is this fucking asshole ho oh. that's what these clowns are at home saying
But yet even still, as great as Kevin Durant is, he still has moments where he gets caught up going back and forth with these clowns on Twitter. And it just goes to show you, you can make it to the top of your game and people will still get up under your skin. So the best thing to do with these people, if they're not supporting you, give them silence, cut them off, limit your time around them. If it's trolls on the internet, just ignore them, just block them. That's the great thing about most of these sites. You can just block motherfuckers, block, block, block. Y'all already know how I do. Any stupid, goofy-ass comments, you're blocked immediately. And so, fellas, you have to understand, you are not going to get support from everyone. Even if 95% of people love what you're doing, there's still going to be that 5% who don't like you for whatever reason. But you cannot let that throw you off. And you cannot get butt hurt by these haters and their negative comments and their lack of support. You just gotta play it cool and understand that when you become successful, it comes with the territory. Oftentimes, guys, these same individuals who did you wrong, they will circle back around once you become ultra successful and they will wanna be a part of your life. But you don't let them back in because they know what they did and they could have been part of your life this entire time. And they could have been reaping these benefits and they could have been on the come up along with you. But you saw the way that they treated you, fellas. So we're not gonna ever let anyone downplay our success or our achievements around here. You need to get yourself around people who are also striving towards something so that you guys can discuss your successes and your achievements together. You shouldn't be ashamed and you shouldn't have to feel any kind of way and you shouldn't have to dumb yourself down for these dumb motherfuckers who want to stay the same for the rest of their life. So remember fellas, you are the prize. Continue to work on yourself day in, day out. And fellas, if you found any value in this video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. And fellas, I'll see you all on the next video. Peace. I withdraw on the things I make. I turn flaws into flawless traits. I build tall, never cap in space. I won't stop till I hear him say. Oh, oh.